Kabuli News today. Solomon Islands launches historic SIM card registration campaign. And in our election special for this Friday, police and officials cast early votes in 2024 joint election. Challenges faced by women sellers in Guadalcanal and a local carver business participant attributes inability to export agriculture products to government. Hello and welcome. I'm Lisa Ossifello. First up, today marks a historic moment as Solomon Islands launches its SIM registration campaign aimed at educating citizens about new implemented regulations governing SIM card registration. Now, this campaign seeks to promote compliance among all SIM card users. So, very, very important for us. It's been a long time coming. Um, two years since the Act has passed, we've only been able to have everything in place now. And so, we're grateful to all our partners, the Ministry of Communication and Aviation, as well as uh, United Nations Capital Development Fund, and of course to the stakeholders, which is the Central Bank of Solomon Islands, and the mobile network operators, uh, our telecom and Bimoba. Um, from the 1st of June, um, Solomon Islands will be required to begin registering their SIM cards. Um, you have until the 29th of November 2024 to register your SIM cards. And so, this launch basically allows the mobile network operators, Telecom and B-Mobile, to commence their uh, awareness programs, marketing, setting up their own systems, uh, training their agents, as well as their staff on how to uh, register SIM cards from their own subscribers. The act supporting this initiative was passed two years ago with strong backing and dedication. While some may have concerns about confidentiality, Assurances have been provided regarding its safety and security. Everyone were like BIMC, you must register them now. You, identity blue, uh, Gornel or service provider blue, whether telecom or be mobile. That particular data will be stored away and under the Act, the Telecommunications Commission uh, is responsible for that particular act, uh, for that particular data in the database. So. Um, it will absolutely be confidential. Any breaches uh, to confidentiality or any use outside of what is provided for by the Act will uh, be in breach of the Act and heavy penalties. Uh, penalties um, range between 50,000 uh, penalty fines or even five years imprisonment or a combination of the two. So those are the kinds of penalties that Parliament and the Looking Act um, uh, you know, suitable for this kind of acting so and now in our election special police officers and electoral officials on election duty kick-started the 2024 joint election with early voting today they cast their ballots ahead of the official polling day set for wednesday april 17th these officials already enlisted in the pre-poll voter list will stay on duty come election day Across the country, pre-poll voting stations have been established in 19 locations, each managed by a presiding officer. Today's voting exclusively focused on the national election, excluding provincial and city council races, despite the joint election on April 17th. Jasper Anisi, Chief Electoral Officer, emphasised that today's participants understood they were voting solely for their national parliamentary candidate. He added that a few hundred officials opted out of pre-polling voting because it will not be a joint pre-poll election. In Guadalcanal, a mother of four from Tamboko shares that she can no longer frequent the market as she once did selling her goods due to the numerous challenges faced by women like her. Georgina Kik here with more details on this story. So first girl blow me him school, him cast him now from six. So him should go to Sinu, but sight low selling na mi fala. No savvy achieve him that fala start that. So him stop normal home. Okay, to fala picking blow me twin, girl and boy. Narawan him from five and narawan him from four and time blow 
Wati a corona kam so to follow school na stop no ma. And last one blow me, he me wafala gele so him from one this time. Ah, pem school fee o se me fala copra, copra then small market. Then o se me daddy blow me fala o se me little bit work all about for people. Then take him selling then him now se me fala. A little bit, uh, make him small one him school no more. So that rival no more from. Yeah. From school here no more. I'm from. From one lo here no more community hall at Abok. Many women can relate to the story shared by Jennifer Tandavale from Tamboko village. The issue for rural Solomon Islanders in smallholder agriculture is not a new one. For many years. Solomon Islanders like Jennifer have been calling for solutions, asking the government to support them in smallholder agriculture, sharing the challenges that deter them from participating in this activity. Yeah, set low marketing, I say him drop, drop a little bit in set low market, I say me fala go go, especially me. No say go market now from kind go, lay down all about the area, blow store, the man store, yeah. Me no say go now. One thing was then to make me minutes of him go market. <coughs> By law, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, no more, Lord go now, Lord night it. So Some Solomon Islanders participating in the agriculture space are keen to explore trade with other Pacific Island countries. But as Wale Tobata, a pharmacist who has taken a keen interest in kava and has been involved in the trade and export sector for a few years, points out it is not as simple as it sounds when it comes to trading with other countries. To conform the requirements by a for engage the trade, you mean we have lab we have two machines for doing that. This thing applies for cocoa, applies for copra, yeah, carbonaya and other products. Yeah? So if you say we have all these ample supplies for you doing trade with him, we tell him your country and nothing prepared him. Unfortunately, Tobata continues, past governments have not been really supportive and lack the political willpower to ensure priority is given to Solomon Islanders in the agriculture space. Yeah. I'll give you an example. Me, me actually uh, chair patient block, cover industry working group. But this industry working group, so-called industry working group, am set up under a, a set up law farmer plus, yeah? just like cocoa, just like timber, just like coconut. So even though we have set up, we have no guarantee any any mandate anywhere at all. Yeah? We are not by me sitting. So it means that even conversations we have been with in different ministries, or what no even got him any, any sense of responsibility for accommodating no more to it. Yeah. Maybe we'll say yes, 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 but time budget come here. No more now. Me, me, me look in some fellow look at policy documents, drafts, and, and projects where we're written within ministries too. Everything is written for implementing nil nava. For Jennifer, as a rural Solomon Islander, her understanding of how the government has been managing its affairs for their well-being is from what is seen and felt now in the day-to-day -day lives. Sign blow road no more in what how me fala market in how me fala set low water or same fala what a sign no more then me fala look goal on top now oh my you me should change him gaman blow you mean now make him help him you me him look look come now look grass root look here or same example ah look what yeah look Package, yeah. The package, yeah, or same. Mid fala, fill him up one for one for the form, yeah, yeah. So, mid fala, give him go, then name blow all blow me him go up the office. So, all blow me him join him now as a season. Okay. Name, I'm telling a receiving message that name blow him go up the office. Then all of me, Abraham him say, oh, by boss blow me fall last season, I'm leading me fall now, by him, give him karma, that fall amount for this fall a form where me fall a make him a plantation, for help him to fall. So, 
Me to follow away to there, so me tell no receive na. So, him na ose me look side lo package ose. Suppose ose mo to sell in ose mo to shoot come down lo grass road na. No any what a man by him stayed up lo middle too. Ota hold lo there come down lo down na lo village na for help me follow side lo okay tap. Uh, coconut plantation for making uh, water uh, for maintaining bike, helping me fall. Mm. So, him can say, Mose, me tell a quiet no ma. So, oh, him, re. so then me tell you, go now, oh, oh, corruption somewhere lo there yet, yeah. Because suppose him, you got him good leadership, but something him arrive come. No matter you mean, go because me fall a rule, yeah. Fall no, got him clever something for site law education, yeah. So if I on top, you know, should come down for long ago, because I follow down. As the country prepares to go to the polls, Wale joined the rest of like-minded Solomon Islanders in calling on the voters to ensure they cast their vote wisely in the upcoming election on April 17. Yeah. So the choice, the elections, the names, the names, the names, the you got them right uh, thinking. In thought process, maybe you would decide wisely. Who not? But I'm go and advocate for interest for you and you me as a country. Yeah. And finally, now in our election update, in our candidate spotlight, we continue with our feature on the candidate for Vavai Award, Wilson Karamui Bogotu. Bogotu, a former public servant, described the Honiara City Council as the big election considering the issues and challenges faced by Honiara residents and business houses on a daily basis in the city. Yeah, one fella, one fella uh, approach to him, we need to really, really uh, work hard with him and put him strong. Eh? Uh, you mean, you mean really need for Garema uh, Honiara City um, Reports, uh, update, or some. Low national level and inter national parliaments. So maybe annually, or some. Even get a state of Honiara report, uh, so that discussion to Honiara him him also uh, presented inside law law national parliament. Uh, maybe every year, or every second year, something like that, yeah? or some. So that all the national leaders play me actually. Uh, Sabe, what's what number of challenges blow run a city council? Awesome. So that one, too, you mean you mean you mean you mean think that you mean Sabe uh, help for put them in place and make sure him happen. Eh? Um, the engagement, the what the uh, role where triple honorable member play inside the Honiara city. I eh? am need for you mean look good them too. Awesome. Eh? Because you got a trivial constituency inside the Honor City. Eh? Awesome. Then you got a, everyone eh, take a, uh, CDF too. Eh? Awesome. In terms of funding, you got a CDF. Awesome. Then, on a city, you got a Awesome. You might seriously look like, why not? You, mean, you, you, you might not need him CDF no more. Then CDF comes uh, or funding. Eh? Or you keep him CDF or whatever. Awesome. These are discussions that. Uh, you may, you may shall make him with them national government. Like how you should better run him on here? Awesome. What I'm saying is, you some collaboration now. Like, you may need to serve a woman because every resource they come from government. No man. So, time you may take him, then you may spread him thinly. But you may, yeah, you may not really realize him what now um, um, impact play him. Awesome. So, so that one now, same so bigger picture. Eh? You mean, you mean like looking, you mean like really drawn, like uh, importance for Honor City. Eh? Honor City Council, yeah. Time you go go around this time, or oh, same, yeah, people tell them you, uh, what, yeah, same, big election or small election? No? Yeah, I'd consider them Honor City as small, yeah. Or same, small something. But um, Honor City, I'm not, I'm not small, yeah. Honor City is, is the public institutions mandated for carrying out basic services to town, yeah? Awesome. So, <laughs> you me attitude blame me towards Honor City, he me must improve too, yeah? He must improve that. People must look at Honor City as a key player 
inside the way you must upload down here. Because you must upload down here, you must run around and you complain them. Everyone has hide behind each other no more. Yeah? So you have to make sure that Honda City is at the forefront. Yeah? It's the first point that you must check them. Okay. Then you must, people must understand which one is Honda City, which one is National Government. Kind of shame. 